Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Back at Subnautica Below Zero tonight, where I hope to make some progress, if not finish the game. I was, I, I, I still don't know entirely what I'm doing, but hopefully the guides will help me, because I am lost. And that's fine. I am admitting my, my, my failings here. So, hello, welcome. Last time we were here, I spent much of the night improving my base with the help of people in chat. And uh, the only thing I haven't really done is decorate, so I probably should do some of that. I don't even have a bed. I should make a bed. I'm not in the location to make a bed, but that's fine. I'm over here. Okay. Yeah. I'm over here. Well, I do want to be here, so I probably should at least attempt to figure this thing out. Um, yeah, let's do that. How am I on equipment? Oh, I'm doing fine on equipment. I'm even full on equipment. Good to know. So I won't be picking anything up. Hmm. Maybe I should fix that first. Yeah, let's go fix that first. Oh, hello, jellyfish. Would you kindly not? Thanks. Are in the, uh, the sea truck without any attachments, so this should be fairly quick. I saw that. I saw you doing stuff. Don't do stuff. Darn sea monkeys. Whoops. That fish probably didn't deserve it, but it's okay. Alright, there's my lovely, lovely base, which had a major upgrade last time. That was not, that was not the upgrade. The crashing part was not the upgrade. That's fine. Don't worry about it. That didn't do any damage, did it? Nope, we're good. Okay. We're doing good on power. Good. I just need to drop off some materials. Probably not all of it, but some. Oh my goodness, cat. Hi. Hello, kitty. Alright, I'm just going to dump these. I can't I can't dump these. Well fine. Be that way. <laughs> You can just go in here for now. That'll be fine. These are edibles, so they're not technically taking up that much space. Okay, well, that, that frees me up a little bit. Now, before I leave, I would like to attempt to make a bed. So let's, uh, let's do that. Bed. Where'd, where'd, where'd it go? I said equip, dang it. Bed. Bed. So we have Parvin's bed, which looks like it has a Leviathan bed sheet. We have Fred's bed, which I can't quite tell what it is, but it looks like it might be another critter bed sheet. Sam's bed, which is um got a nice generally watery sheet. Some generic sheets on Jeremiah, Emmanuel, and Danielle's bed, and then Zeta's bed, some sort of watery figures on it. I like Parvin's bed though. Although I'm tempted to see what, what's on Fred's. Let's go and see what's on Fred's. Fred's bed can go right here. 
and titanium and fiber mesh. Okay, I can do that. In fact, I think I just put away a fiber mesh. I did. Oh, okay. It's got the, uh, the sea truck on it. Makes sense. Fred liked his sea truck. But I don't, so... Give me that back. How about Zeta's bed? Oops. Okay. It's got the original floaty uh, salvage thingies. Hello, Kinder. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to try this one then. See if Parvin's bed looks as fancy as it seems. Hello, Demos. Hello and welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy bed sheets. All right. Uh, I have I have that up now. Um, we could do some desks. We could do some picture frames, chairs. Let's do a desk and a chair. So two titanium, and maybe an aromatherapy lamp on that, just to help, you know, calm our nerves. Yeah, let's do that. Do I have a do I have a cotton anemone in here somewhere? I don't. Okay. Uh, the picture frame lets you use your screenshots from the game. And I have plenty of those. Gotta put the hang in there, kitty. We'll put the, the spy penguin. Alright, we'll look, look at more of those later. Um, I thought I had something in here. But apparently not. Okay. I just need one of you. Alright, so let's use this desk, because I'm not fancy enough for the exact desk. And we'll use... Let's use this command chair. I like it. Alright. Um, do I need a fridge? Nah, I don't need a fridge. Maybe we'll have a little um, living quarters thing later. So we need the, uh, the lamp. I can go over here. The aromatherapy lamp by Quasico can reproduce over 17,000 natural scents captured from hundreds of worlds. I can imagine this being a hackable object for um, pranks. Alright, uh, I can also do... Oh, I think I have to put them on my hotbar. I'll do them one at a time. So hang in there, kitty. Hang in there, kitty. can go right... Dead center. Or can it? There we go. Shaving kit. The alien intruder poster. The blueprint. 
All sorts of pretty stuff. Very awesome, kinder. Shame you're exhausted, but still, money. What else do I want to make? Could do the wall planter. Make it all green and pretty in here. There. Extra green and extra pretty for that fresh oxygen scent. Whenever the... Uh, the aromatherapy lamp does not give us the fresh oxygen scent that we want. Yeah, there we go. Alright, decorated bed. That's all I want right now. And everything else is out of my pocket. Good. Alright, so now we're going to go back to Phi. An attempt to look around. There's a couple spots I wanted to attempt to find in Phi. Um, but mostly I just want to try to find my way back to the frozen Leviathan area. Fish. Fish. Je jellyfish, go away. Don't want to run into you. That that fish deserved that one. Yes. Okay, so here's hoping that I can find the frozen leviathan thing. I have no bloody clue where it is. I have a couple thoughts on where it might be, and I think one of them is over this bridge. But I don't I don't know actually. Like is it down there? No! Okay, so what I'm thinking of is down there is one of the alien artifact things that I had accidentally stumbled on. Um, so maybe the frozen leviathan is over this way. But where exactly would it be? This might be where I have to... might have to pull out that map again. So I don't get entirely lost and spend a whole bunch of time doing nothing. stare at the shiny for a moment while I pull out the thing and look at the mug that Kinder is talking about. Nice. Lego mug. Very awesome. Okay. Where is this map? Or where is, where is this entrance? northwestern corner of the glacial basin. Hmm. Northwestern corner of the glacial basin. So this way. North northwest is this way. So northwest leads us back to uh, leads us back to the bridge. 
So where is it? I have a kitty. Hello, kitty. that so northwest is that way let me see if I have the map for this thing Probably shouldn't be doing that without being paused, now that I think about it. Because um, dying, dying would be bad. Hmm. They don't make this easy to find. The Land of Oz as the campaign setting for D&D. Wow. That's, uh, that's fascinating. I don't think that's up my alley, but uh, it's fascinating. I just needed to warm up, so I figured I'd close the ocean. Might as well. Yes, mom. Stop. Stop it, kitty. Kitty butt. Stop it, kitty. Right, I'm going to check this away quick. So that was the alien cave, I believe. But let's go look at that again anyway, just to be sure. Mark. Duck. Yes, alien cave, okay. Let's double checking. Oh, and while I'm here, So I'm gonna wander this way a little bit and see if I can find the entrance. I'm I'm starting to doubt that this is the right way. Because I'm pretty positive it was over there. But I could be wrong because my memory is garbage. We all know this. He wrote twenty four books? I didn't know that. Are they all in the land of Oz or are they um Separate, separate lore types, separate mythoses. But still, not, not my cup of tea for a D and D campaign. I've never cared to, uh, never even considered the idea of role playing in the Land of Oz. This wasn't a thing. Okay, so this is this is a bust. This was definitely a bust. I would have needed to go up on the bridge to get across there. Oh, out. Hmm.
24 books all in the Land of Oz. Yeah, definitely, definitely did not know that it extended that far. Hello drums, welcome. I'm attempting to get un unlost and in the process getting more lost. Because that's just how I do. Yep, that, that's that's definitely that's definitely my way. So this, I believe, is what is considered the glacial basin, and the northwest corner of the glacial basin is up this way. But I'm not supposed to go up unless this leads me into a different spot where I can find the entrance. So let's see if. This is a thing. Ow. Ow. Oh, hey, a flare. Great. Love it. I like the flaily arm. Because I know when I run, I hold things out in front of me and flail it back and forth. This is another dog cave. Yes, dog cave. Hi. Sorry, puppy. Did not mean to intrude. I think I'm close-ish, but I don't know exactly where. Five E Adventures in Oz. All right then. Yeah, I think that's the thing about that one, is that you really have to be an Oz fan, like a true Oz fan, to, to want something like that. And more power to you if you are, but I, I am personally not. Hmm. 
this I, I think this is definitely close, but how I can translate this cave into the frozen Leviathan ice cave, I don't know. I gotta say, this this place is a an absolute bitch to navigate. Alright, gonna park my way in here for a moment and see if I can figure out where the fuck I'm going. I don't think I have an answer yet. If anyone wants to help, by all means, feel free to try. That's the walkthrough that's on the on the wiki, which claims that it may or may not be updated, but that's okay. And it's specifically the part about the glacial basin and the frozen leviathan. And it really, it just says it's the northwestern corner of the basin under a tall mountain before entering a cave. Like, the fuck? It's not helpful. And yeah, I remember, I remember running into Parvin's bunker Hello, welcome back, drums. So this is Phi. Oh, pretty. Is it this way? This is really hard to see at night. This, I think, leads to more puppies, I think? There's that up there that looks important. I'm gonna head towards the shiny light thing. Because it looks important. Or, you know, I'm not. Because there doesn't appear to be a way up there. Ah! positive that this is not the right way. Just putting that thought out there. Is 
So how does one go about finding the thing? This is not the thing, because this leads back out again. My balls! Balls, balls, balls. And of course, I can't see anything, because it's dark. And there's a puppy. Hi, puppy. How are you doing? Wait, it's becoming slightly less dark. Huzzah. Hmm. I'm still fairly certain I have no idea where I'm going. So there's a dock there, but that leads from nowhere, technically. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Hmm. Okay. I am sheltered. All better. Hello, penguin. This is another puppy cave. I don't need that. I've definitely been here before as I've collected most of the things. Uh. Ah? There we are. ever scan the pretty trees? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Wait, did I find a thing? I think I might have found a thing. I'm not sure. I found a thing! My god! 
that took way too much effort to find this. Quite frankly, I'm not sure how anyone would ever be expected to find this on their own. Because, my god. I'm going to take your posters because you're a jerk. And I'm pretty sure I scanned everything out of here. Hooray, I did the thing. So, now that we're here, here's hoping I have everything I need because I will probably never find my way back here again. This is where this mess started. Uh, let me see if I can blap. There, less beacons. There's the big guy. There's the big guy. Alright, so somewhere in this general vicinity is supposed to be a spy pangling cave location. And I didn't see it on the way in, so I'm guessing it's somewhere in this actual cave system here. There's something up there, and I think that's where the cure machine was. But I'm having a hard time remembering because it's been quite a while since I was in here. Let's peek around down here first. Nothing. Nothing. And then there's an in there. Let's go in here. There's the prawn. There's its footsies. Giant, giant footsies. Okay. So nothing in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot I left that egg here. Let's take it with me. And that was a spare scanner. Actually, I might be able to bring that with me to remove for part uh, disassemble for parts. Okay, let's go up. Oh, right. Full. Um, no. Okay, so in here, this is the injectable container, which I don't have. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Nothing to get. So where is the spy pangling location where she hid the stuff? Because I know Sam was working up here. She was doing stuff. say the thingy was. <laughs> it's apparently quite a ways south. 
quite a way is south. All right, well, fine. So it says to leave here, go south past the glacial forest and the frozen river. How would anyone find this shit? <laughs> like seriously, like I'm all for you know exploring to find storyline and whatnot, but how? Nope, this way. So we go all the way out here. And this is the glacial forest, apparently. And then we head south. And this, I believe, is the frozen river it mentions. Dangerous weather approaching. Hopefully. Seek shelter. And it says, up a hill. Oh, hi. Be really nice if all these glacier or these uh, geysers didn't turn off the second I got here. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. You should find yourself walking past the top of a frozen waterfall. That I'm not seeing yet. Unless that's it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Warm. Yes, top of frozen waterfall looks to be about right. I have no idea how anyone would be expected to find any of this nonsense. Especially since there's no clues for it. Like, there was no clue anywhere that I saw that said, you know, from Sam, I hid... I hid the, the thing that I was working on in a spy pingling nest like 30 clicks south of where I was gonna use it like they, I don't remember hearing anything about that I'm sorry what down slope Holy Jesus, okay. Dangerous weather sure. approaching. Okay. <laughs> How? How? How would anyone ever find this? This isn't connected to literally anything on the rest of the friggin' place. Alright, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, I'm gonna zip and then drop you. Hello me. I am me. Hello. This. This is what I want. Right there. Sam must have stashed this here. And I'll grab some magnetite while I'm here because I need it.
Hello, yes, I am me again. Blueprint synthesize. Antidote. Antidote. The antidote is made out of fevered pepper and frost vase plant. Now, do I need... No, I don't think I need it. I think this is if I just need to make more of it. Okay. Sure. Um, I probably should grab a frost vase plant on the way if I can. Hello, Pengling. Pat, pat. Are there any frost vase plants around here? I don't see anything. Frost vase plants. I don't see any still. There's bound to be someone here, right? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. This place is always trying to kill me. Yep, I see no frost vase plant around. At least nothing that stood out. So we're going to go in anyway and hope that the thingy is enough. And that I don't need to make another thingy. container I didn't open. Oh. Neat. It's water. Or rather, it's um, purifying chemicals to make water. Here's hoping I don't ever need to come back here ever again. Because it's going to be another night-long journey to try to find it. It's fine, though. Alright. You. In the thingy. Now, do do the do. Do do the injection do. Yeah, you zip along and do that. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Aww. We, we continued and carried on Sam's legacy 
by curing the scary virus that would have probably murdered everyone. Hooray! Now that's done. So all that's left then, I think, story-wise, is to finish making a body for Alan. And so far, he hasn't told me uh, where else his body parts might be located. So I think we still have some exploring to do for that, unfortunately. Blind exploring, by the by. Although I'll probably end up looking it up anyway, because... Blind exploring. Not, not my thing. At least not without some sort of map and points of reference. Um, so we did the thing... Copper, silver, silver, silver. Silver, silver, copper, copper, silver. I don't really need all of that. Exploration is fun when I actually progress, etc. When I'm blindly wandering in circles, not progressing at all, then exploration gets a little bit tedious after a while. Um, I don't have a map, or rather, I, I do have a map. I have, I have this map, which is the most useless map in, like, all of gaming history. Because um, it gives me only the vaguest sense of where things are located, not necessarily how to get to them. Um, and the only thing I haven't found yet is zero, because I can't figure out how to get there. Um, but on top of that, I also have... Um, I have the wiki, which has information mostly in text form. There is a map um, that's linked in there somewhere, but the map information is about as useful as this map in that it just points at a whole bunch of stuff like here, for example. It would say something is here. It doesn't tell me how to wind through the twisty, turning caves to get there. And that's one of my biggest challenges so far in exploring in this game has been the... the twisty, turny uh, level design is so difficult to navigate. Like, even just getting my way out of this to get back to my truck is probably going to take me the next half hour. Um, it would help if I remembered to turn on the beacons. Um, I don't... I'm pretty... Kitten, 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 kitten. Calm. Kitten. Calm yourself. Stop spazzing. You good? You good? Okay. Pretty sure I've done all of those alien artifacts. Uh, I can turn that off because I don't need it. Don't need that one. So I know I need to explore the purple prism cave more. Um, so that's a, that's a, a definitely a thing I need. There's probably some important stuff in there. I can turn off fire robotics because I don't ever want to come back here again. Don't need the drop pod for now. Okay, that should do for now. So, truck is that way. How do I find that way? Ooh, cave. I mean, cliff. Cliffs are bad. Cliffs are bad for my ankles. Is there water to jump down into? No, of course there's not water to jump down into. Why would there be water to jump down into? Arr. Water. Fine. I'll just go down this way. But yeah, exploration is fun initially. It's fun when you find new and fascinating locations. But when you get to a point where there's really 
not much more at least obvious to explore and you end up in just the same old same old locations over and over again trying to find something you might have missed or um, you know finding that one hidden cave entrance that that passed you by or whatever that's when exploration stops being fun to me and I am doing exactly what I just said I was doing and going the wrong direction awesome I'm just gonna go this way this should eventually lead out, right? Or to my doom. Hey, before I lead it to my doom, how about I save? How about I save? Like, right here. Just in case this does lead me to my doom. Uh, the only part that I have is the body. Nothing else has led me to any other hints of other cache locations. I know I still need two more, I believe. So I don't know where any of the other ones are. Um, as far as how deep I've been, I've been down to the purple prism caves, whatever they're called, and I have not... I have not been able to get past the Shadow Leviathan in that area. Um, I just recently got a depth module from a sea truck, which will hopefully get me a little bit deeper in there. But, I mean, currently I'm in a situation where I'm, I'm facing zero guidance from Alan, zero guidance from the game in general, zero guidance from Marguerite. So I'm, I'm in a blind wander situation, which is why I've switched over to using the guide, if at all possible. Just because I, I'm, not, I'm not progressing, I'm not getting anywhere useful. Anything I want? No. Okay. And and such are just FYI, just because of my poor navigational skills and poor memory, it has taken me the last hour to find my way to the frozen Leviathan, despite having been there before because I didn't remember where I had blindly wandered to find it in the first place. Like with, okay, so with the first game, the, the first game had some guidance in the form of uh, material lockouts. You need a specific material at a specific depth to progress. This game doesn't really have that that I've noticed. Like, it's... A lot of materials are just kind of readily available. And, yeah, there are a couple that are locked, like the Kynite. But not much. Like, I've been able to find almost all the materials I've needed without really going deep at all. So there's not really the material lockout. And since the materials were very heavily uh, area-dependent in the first game you could get to a point where it's like, yeah, I need to go deeper, and the materials that I need are probably at this depth in that general direction. Um, whereas this game, the materials are a lot more spread out and a lot more widely available, which is great in um, in terms of, you know, not feeling like you're losing access to materials or anything like that, but not as great for guidance. Okay, hello, how are you? Going back to base, dumping whatever I can. Yep, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of the kyanite I need from doing exactly that, just kind of skimming it from around the edges. I think I had to do a couple brief dodges of the Leviathan without too much trouble. 
Uh, okay. I don't have much in the way of material space. Um, but I wanted to go... I wanted to attempt to find zero again. And supposedly there's an entrance kind of around this general region. Zero is, I mean, aside from whatever's in the purple crystal cave, which I'm assuming is going to be some sort of last important thing I need, um, zero is the only other place that I haven't really been. And so far, everyone I've talked to about zero has basically said, yeah, it's a true bitch to find. <laughs> Okay, probably should uh, probably should repair myself before I run into too much stuff. Uh, repair. There is a body part down in purple. Good to know. Um, do you know how to get to zero? And is that something I should be getting to now, or will I be semi-guided there later? Because if that's, if that's a later situation, great. Um, I had been attempting to get there this whole time because there was a note that said that Sam was, um, Sam was restationed at zero. So I thought that might be a direction that I should go. But I haven't been able to find a an actual way to get there yet. Oops, I made a mistake. I pushed the zoom. I didn't mean to push the zoom. Stop zooming. There we go. Uh, yes. Uh, no, it's, uh, snow is the diagonal, or zero is the diagonal line, and it's up here. Um, supposedly there's an overland path to it. Roughly from the old, uh, the crash site. But I haven't been able to find it yet. Underwater entrance. Okay. Do we have any idea where that is? Because I haven't been able to locate it. I just know that it's somewhere top center of the map, and every time I've tried, I've found nothing. I didn't realize that this area was also a Brinical zone. 
So maybe I haven't explored this area thorough enough. Like here, perhaps. Let's check out what this place is. This looks like this might be a place. Can't see shit. But this looks like this might be a place. Hi. I missed you guys. Bake me. Okay. I think. I think I just found it. Well, that's just silly of me. I was always going the wrong direction. <laughs> Why would I destroy the snowman? Why would I do that? Why would I do such a thing? Why is that even an option? I mean, probably for the rebreather, but still, why? Snowman. Blueprint synthesized. Snowman. Great. <laughs> Apparently, I can now make snowmen. Alright, well, we found Outpost Zero. So, huzzah! Now, let's see if there's anything useful in here. Bunch of prawn arms and other prawn bits that I can't scan. If you break it first, you'll never be able to scan it because there's only one. Ouch. So that break it option, it, it's, it's tempting, but it's a trap. Sea glide fragment. Time to make a snowman army. Yes. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. That was surprisingly limited information. Hey, these things. These were like my primary food source in the first game. Lantern tree, a conglomeration of individual vines which will rely on one another for structural support. Grows exclusively on fertile land. Each vine produces orange lantern-shaped fruits with minimal nutrition and hydration value. I would eat dozens of these. Edible and an emergency. Um, I would like to bring one back with me because I don't think I have one. So let's yum yum. They provide body heat in this one. Good to know good to know. Alright, we now have PDA stuff. Task list. Harvest produce from the grow beds and plant new seed to do. Uh, refill engine oil and lubricant, or sorry, and coolant. Document completed research samples. Continue investigation of the force field mechanisms at research site zero. Send weekly status report. Varnish prawn suits. Repair bay hatch door lock. Um, perform monthly patrol of remote installations, recalibrate navigation equipment, and inspect all cabin air filters. Like that. That's probably one. Neat. And I've already scanned those grow beds. Okay. Aha! Another jukebox disc. Research st Station Zero. Welcome to your home away from home on 4546B. This brochure will guide you through your new accommodations. Settle in. Sector Zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean, bordered by mountainous terrain to the north and west. This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make for spectacular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by architects as a hub for their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42 in the a larger ecosystem. Get comfortable! Research Station Zero features state-of-the-art facilities, including three to, uh, to six-person accommodations, full science and engineering section, leisure and exercise facilities, large grow room and water filtration unit for self-service uh, self living, weather forecasting suite, and a prawn bay. 
Explore. You, valued member of the Frost Pack, have been chosen to occupy the main sector base, just below the primary alien research site. From here, you will conduct research into alien communications and technologies, and conduct away missions to unoccupied installations elsewhere in the sector. That sounds delightful. Uh, the body part I have was... I think... I remember the cave being walkable, but I'm pretty sure it was underwater accessible. Moderately sure. Uh, yes, the Dark Alliance D&D game comes out tomorrow. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm excited for that, but I'm kind of excited for that. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. Oh, contraband, you say? I'm just going to drop all my crap that I don't need so I can have posters. This is not accessible. I know, Demos, I know. I have to finish a whole bunch of shit. Alien Intruder, a game of deception, aliens and paranoia. I feel like, I feel like I should have found this site first. Because it, it seems very much like there was some stuff I should have discovered here earlier. Like information on Sector Zero. Information introducing the Alien Intruder game. Um, apparently the mention that posters are contraband. None of the other posters I've collected have said that they're contraband. So, curious. Uh, yes, Cetra, it was a skeleton. That is correct. <laughs> uh, Alien Intruder, a game of deception, aliens, and paranoia. Instructions, Alien Intruder is a game played by f uh, 6 to 15 people. One player acts as the game master, and one player assumes the role of the hive mind. The remaining players are scientists on a research mission. Total players divided by 6 of the scientists are actually secret alien intruders. The hive mind is the puppet master pulling the strings of deception. The hive mind knows who the aliens are and who the scientists are. This player observes the game and tries to manipulate the alien intruders to eliminate all the scientists. The hive mind wins if three-fourths of the scientists have been eliminated before completing all of their tasks. The alien intruder. This player does not know that they are an alien intruder. For all intents and purposes, the alien intruders think they are normal scientists. The scientist's job is to survive and eliminate the alien intruders in, uh, or complete all tasks. The scientists do not know who the alien is. The scientists win if the aliens are dead and if they have completed all of their tasks. The GM runs, uh, the, se uh, runs the session and ensures the completion of all different cycles. The hive mind will communicate their intention to direct, uh, directly to the GM, and the GM will tell the players how his or her intentions play out. The phases. The game is broken up into days. Each day, the scientists slash aliens choose uh, to either perform a task or spy on another player. Then the hive mind tells the GM if they would like to plant a seed of doubt on which spy result. Uh, if any or uh, if any or eliminate the spy target of, of the alien if applicable. This is done secretly behind the hive mind and the GM. Uh, between them. The GM then reports back on the results of the player's spying efforts, influenced or not by the hive mind. After which the scientist slash alien may have a three minute meeting to discuss the day's events and then may elect to eliminate the scientist with a majority vote. The scientist alien then go to sleep and start the next day's cycle. <laughs> Laboratory. Laboratory. So I'm fairly certain one of the body parts is going to be here. And I'm pretty sure one is going to be in the purple uh, crystal cave area. This is neat. Why can't I have this? I want this. I am stuck on a chair. I cannot have the kitty picture unless I dump something else from my inventory. Like a fish. Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. <laughs> fluffy little couch walrus. <laughs> okay. Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. Of course. Hi Orin, hi Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. 
Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking... I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I... Uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn <laughs> this off now. Way to scare the kids about the deadly bacterium. pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wait or communicate with them have been in vain. I won't like it. Uh-oh, I'm concerned. While other wait, my theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Hmm. I wonder if that's referring to the area where I first acquired Alan. I wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Voltaren. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. I see. Did she, did, did Alan kill her? Oh, hey, it's a cube. Um, I kind of want that. Can I have it? Do I have space to dump stuff? Uh, titanium. Fuck it. I can get titanium anywhere. <clears throat> yep, did not need that. Okay. Uh, no modules in there. Yes, kitty. Hello, kitty. Checking to see if I got all of the things in this general area. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I think we're good. So what have we over here? This looks like a nondescript landing pad. Got it. Cool. And then there was an up here. Over here. Down here. Whatever. Hello? Aha! More alien stuff. Kila. <laughs> he's just he's just laying on the floor behind me yelling at me. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. He's yelling at me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's yelling at me. So we're standing in front of an alien thing. So, Cetra, before you tell me about the other thing, would, would you uh, would you tell me why I won't like it? Unless the why I won't like it is exactly where the other thing is. In which case, I mean, yeah, probably. Danger noodles? Oh, danger noodles. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the alien thing. Nice of them to have their priorities straight, having a coffee maker set up over here. Nothing else in here. Okay, we're going in. Alan, let me in. Thanks, Alan. Alan, what is this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Rapid travel, he said suspiciously. Neat. Neat. Ellen's not gonna let me scan it, is he? Alan, let me scan it. Alan. Aha. So this one is also a receiving portal. Got it. So there was another receiving portal in um uh, Fire Robotics. And it might be that they're not receiving portal, they just have to be manually activated some way or another. Because um, in the first game there was typically initiating and receiving portals. And the initiating portals you could just put a power cube in and they would, they would open up a portal to wherever the receiving side is. Um, but so far I haven't found any initiating portals in this one. It's in there? Seek shelter. Because I wandered around quite a bit in the Arctic Spires, but I was not able to navigate that place very well. So if you're telling me I have to go back there and wander a lot, I think that might be a perfect time to finally make a snow fox. Screw you, snowman! Oh. Well, it was less traumatic than I thought it would be. <laughs> it just kind of vanished. Alright. Okay. So I found the thing I was looking for. I found, I found zero. It did not... Surprisingly enough, give me all that much information, but it's fine. I found it. Ah, I almost ran into that while I wasn't looking. West of a corpse. I don't recall seeing any corpses up there, but that might be why I didn't find the thing. Bonk, bonkity bonk, bonk. So how about, I guess, I guess maybe uh, if anyone has opinions, we really have two options right now. We can either go attempt to find 
the next body part for Alan up in the Arctic Spires, which is overland. So that would involve um, bring enough materials to hopefully build a small base and build the snow fox. Or attempt to go down into the purple chasm and find whatever might be lurking under there. You did the whole game in a prawn? Intr even overland? I wouldn't think the prawn would have all that much uh, navigational speed overland. Interesting. I mean, I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to prawning it up. Can I just drop these? No, I can't just drop them. And I can't put them in the recycler. Hmm. Oh, I can dump my scanner in there, my secondary scanner, and I get a whole chunk of titanium out of it. Nice. Let's put those in there for now. Uh, I'm going to finish putting stuff away. You can go in here for now. One thing I haven't really done is I haven't really looked at all of my critters. I have so many critters. I have a sea monkey that doesn't want to stay in the hole. I have I have a ray. I have a grumpy shark fish. I have two grumpy shark fish. I have a uh, punchy, punchy crab. I have one of those angry dudes. Another ray, another angry shark. Uh, let's do. I can just pick it up. Oh no! Why? Why? Why would that be a thing? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put this in here, which is gonna be a jellyfish, eventually. Why can't I just pick up the critters? Why? <laughs> why? Oh, and I got one of these guys. Nice. Alright, I think that's everything I need. Uh, spy pangling, you can just... Nope, apparently I can't drop the spy panglings. Good to know. What the frick of frack am I stuck on? What the hell? What the hell? Whee! What's going on? What's going on? Oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Not touching anything. It's just doing it on its own. It's just doing it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Let me out this crazy thing! The hell was that? <laughs> It felt kind of like I got stuck on, like, a creature that was trying to escape. That was weird. Am I, am I alive? Are we good? Alright, let's save. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put up some more posters for funsies. Gila, stop. Uh, 
Um, there we go. There, kitty. Wait, hold up. Does that kitty have a robotic arm? That's awesome. Good kitty. Now up here I was going to do my greenhouse, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I kind of want to figure out like what plants I want where first. So maybe I'll maybe I'll do that in my spare time because it's probably going to take some juggling on my part. But we we now have a lovely decorated home. I have all of my uh, critters growing nicely in the uh, aquarium. Which is wonderful. Okay. Um, so, overland prawn. I guess we'll we'll attempt to do that. Let me put away the. Tangling. <laughs> Suppose I should check the prawn and see if anything needs juice. Hundred two hundred. We're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go. I suppose I probably should have uh, gone in this way to grab my truck. Bear? I'm assuming that's a, uh, a typo of tractor beam. Oh, autocorrect. Let's turn back on the fly so I know which way I'm going. <laughs> okay, good. At least at least I understood it for the most part. Man, I forgot how slow this thing is when I don't have, or when I have all of the uh, modules attached to it. Oh boy, this thing's slow. Yeah, I think that's currently what I've got currently is the uh, drill arm and not the tractor beam, the propulsion cannon. I don't know if that's what you're calling the tractor beam. The blue energy grabber thing, yes, the propulsion cannon. Okay, I could conceivably park here, right? Was there... A way to just get straight into the prawn? No, not easily. Okay. Nope, not not that. I well enter. Hmm. Okay, maybe it wasn't quite the best location. We're gonna go back and uh, try to park it at the dock.
Not good enough. Not quite, but it'll it'll do. It should do. Um, okay, so what I want is nope, not not that. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to get in, not not pilot. And I wanted to grab. More of these, just in case. Drop these because I don't need them. Drop you because I won't need you. Might need you. Okay. Alright, we're going, we're going that away, across the bridge. problem in. Okay. Uh, this is this is a minor bug that many, many, many FPS games suffer from. And that is forward walking is the speed that they intended. Sideways walking is the speed that they intended. But if you do both of them at once, you move a lot faster. going on an adventure so the ultimate question is where am I going on an adventure what am I looking for exactly I know I'm looking for alien artifacts but I'm hoping Alan will speak up at some point no thank you silver and copper lots of silver Worm. Okay, I found one of the power cables. Probably tells me I'm close ish. Oh, but I put away my pangling. I see a an alien power crystal in there. Well, balls. Northeast. We can aim far northeast. Look at him doing a little sit. It's adorable. Pretty. Pretty. Hang on. Doggo, you and I have some words. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's going on. Although I think that dog actually did some decent damage to me. So let's get uh repair tool on the bar. Nope, not not enter. Repair. Howdy smooth agent, welcome.
Nope. Fuck off, worm. He's still yelling at me. Are you talking about this smooth agent? Because, yeah, it is interesting. Otherwise, if there's an actual Lost Planet you're talking about, then clue me in. I know nothing. How do I get big guy in here? I have played Journey to the Lost Planet. I don't know if I have played just Lost Planet. Hmm. Does big guy just fit in here? He might. Let's find out. Doesn't look like he'd fit in here, but... I guess he does. I stand corrected. That's a lot of energy cubes. How much more, uh, how much more space do I have, buddy? Upgrades. Storage. Oh, we got plenty of space. Let's just keep going. Capcom game. Lost Planet. Let me add that to my lookup list. That does look interesting. I, I think I've seen that before. Like, I've, I've seen it exist before, but I haven't looked up what it do. Yeah, this should be, this should be good for my uh, energy needs for the foreseeable future. First game you ever played online, nice. So what what is it exactly? Is it like an adventure exploration game? Is it pure FPS? Is it single player, multiplayer PvP? Give me the deets. Mm. 
Okay. So, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, wormy. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Angry worm. So angry. Maybe we go up here. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I don't have the ups to go up there. Okay, fine. Stop it! Stop it! Trying to kill me. I don't approve. Alright, cannot fit through here. Can fit through here. Well then. I I am sorely underestimating this thing on a regular basis. Uh there's there's an up. Sure. Let's go check out the up. Aha! Aha ha ha! Ow! Why didn't you sit down first? Ha 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 And this looks like an out. This is an actual out portal. That's that's fair, smooth agent. It can be very, it can be very easy to hold on to the nostalgia of your your first game that you really enjoyed. Um. All right, down we go. We. Interesting. We have a dock under here. Well, that's fun. Again, probably should have brought the prawn, but that's fine. Hey, jellyfish. My jellyfish hatched. That's wonderful. Nope, I... Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going back up. Whee! I think that might have just been for the dock anyway. So that should be fine. Probably should go back down there and explore again just to be sure. Kitty, hi. Kitty, hi. He's yelling at me. He's still yelling at me. Toes. Toes. Hi. Hi. So, was there anything else here that I missed? Going back, I'm seeing nothing. Okay, never mind. There's, there's a down, there's an under. But I don't think that's going to leave me anywhere useful.
Nope. Okay. Back up again. Whee! Yes. Shouting at me. Alright, so this was intended to be potentially a different ingress to this whole alien facility thing where we have a teleporter. So I am going to go back up to the prawn and grab a grab a crystal and then see where this teleporter goes and hope that I can come back again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, so many crystals. Alright, let's do a little bit of a quick savey, just in case. Gila, shut up! Portal! No scanning the portal, got it. Probably could have brought the prawn suit, but with... It'll be fine. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And this looks like this is Fire Robotics. Yeah. Fire Robotics. Okay. That's good. Found a thing. It doesn't help me, but I found a thing. And I've been meaning to get one of these activated anyway. You never did this portal. That is neat. I'll never need it, ever. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't look like there's any purpose to it whatsoever, other than to get back to Phi. But uh, it's fine. We, we found. We found the thing. Okay, smooth agent. We'll be right here. So, where does all this go then? I guess we can continue this away. This looks fun. More silver. So much silver. Copper. Copper. Silver. Yeah, tons and tons of copper and silver here. I hope Alan would, you know, say something, but Alan is being very tight-lipped about this whole situation. So this is the, yeah, this is the drilling area where they kind of first tell you about uh, the worms. yelling at me. I had to make him go away. So, diamonds. I guess I could get some diamonds. Um, I don't think I have too terribly much space for diamonds, but I could do it. Ah.
No room. Okay. So, out of space for diamonds. Uh, it'll be fine. We'll count that as good then. So, where am I going? I made my way back to the entrance. Cool. Um, I guess I guess we'll try a different direction this time. Everything you have just says keep going north. That is definitely not helpful. So that's that way, okay. Nope. Nope, don't do it. I'm pretty sure I went up there before, but we'll give it a try. definitely went up here before because I got the stuff in the boxes here and I'm pretty sure that didn't lead anywhere else now that was where the alien thing was um, and I had gone that way and we did find some alien stuff but not the alien stuff so where else would it be That looks like a cliff that just leads up to some materials. Might be worth looking at anyway, though. Ow. Let's go that way, just to see what's up there. Yep, just materials. Okay. Well... We're gonna go this way, again, because this is where the alien cable is, which is going to lead us to something alien. Northeast is this way. Down there was the penguin cave. Nope. Nope. Fuck off, worm. He stands on his feet. We're going more northeast, more northeast. So that, right there. This is as north as I can go, and this is northeast. So if there's a way up there, I don't know it. Hi, puppy. How you doing? Are you gonna come, Tango? a lot of power. It could not jump at last I tried. It gets... It gets that hard. I, I tried to jump it from here before and I wasn't able to get... There's, there's no height on this thing.
And our character can't jump that either, I don't believe. Um, but let's try something here. Nope, nope. There, there's no... There's significantly less ups than I would like. Is that... Is that something else? Is that magnetite or is that lithium? It's interesting. It's blocked off. Like I should be able to get rid of that. Hmm. Interesting. It feels like there should be a way in there. But I'm not seeing it. Oh. I see. There's a way in there. And my pockets are full. Okay, well, that's fine. You say go north along the east wall. There is no north along the east wall. Um, that That's the east wall, and this is as north as I can go. Oh, you say go south along the east wall. Okay, I'm I'm just dumb. That's that's fine. Another green glowing glow. I think we might have something. Thanks, Alan. Would have been great if you would have told me that a long ass time ago, buddy. Ah, no. Ah. Don't yell at me. Shins. What are you? Unidentified creature egg. You're getting in the hole. Welcome back, Smooth Agent. Okay. This would be a lot easier if I had light to work with. Kind of like I should jump down here. Hey, look, it's a thing. Alan, let me in. So, funny enough, Cetra, I've never actually been here. I never found the path to get this far north. So, I haven't actually seen a lot of the scrap. Neat though. I like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't imagine how anyone is going to find anything in this place. Large emerald? This is the first one of these I've been able to scan. They're, they've been everywhere. Pure emerald is typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chlorium, uh, cr chromium, leading to the development of the uh, distinctive green color seen here. Mining activity near these crystals suggests that they are valued for their applications in architect technology. I mean, everything's green, so yes. Ah. More cubes. I don't have room for more cubes. So this is a big old crystal mining site. I dig it. Aha! That's kind of hidden. It's a claw. Architect tissue. A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture synthesized from over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates advanced uh, biocomposites resulting in unique mechanical properties. Compression. Extremely high com uh, compressive strength protects against external forces and may indicate adaption to extreme environments. Um, high resistance to damage from high energy impacts and uh, low modulus of elasticity allows the tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion. Ah, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. The fourth iteration, you say? So you used to get hooves where your eyebrows should go. Good to know. Concerning. Um, so, etc. Thank you. And... Game world designers, screw you. <laughs> like, I, I appreciate good level design and all, but there's got to be some sort of semblance to normalcy to this. And this ain't it. There, There is nothing whatsoever to guide me up this way. Except for Sadra, who helped me guide this way. Okay, so... That body part has been found. Now I gotta get back to the sea truck. I'm sure that there is much more to find in this location. I'm not sure I want to wander too much, especially without any pockets to uh, actually collect things. Although it looks kinda like a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, I, I get that we should explore everything, but my god, like, they made it very clear that there's a whole lot of exploration that could be done that doesn't necessarily need to be done. So if there needs to be some sort of, I don't know, guide to get you to specific spots that are relevant instead of just neat, that would be kind of handy. Hi. Ooh, scary. But yeah, no, I, I get it, and I'm I'm kind of bitching into the wind. It's kind of pointless, but I enjoy it regardless. I'm just gonna look up guides and shit to get me through. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. And I'm pretty sure I did the same thing with the first game, is I eventually did succumb to looking up guides and maps and stuff, just because I didn't want to wander aimlessly forever. Um, I think that was the way out of here. Yeah, let's go out of here. 
Stop it. Stop. 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 Angry worms. So then, the last relevant important bit should be in the purple crystal caves. Hello. Nice of you to join me. I may or may not have gone the wrong direction. Yeah, I went the wrong direction. That's fine. It's fine. We'll go say hello to this friendly cave worm again. Wait, what are you? You're another thing. You're a thing that doesn't lead anywhere. Well, all right then. Hooray! Found my way out. Shot it. I may or may not have landed on a critter or two. My bad. Hi. Giant creepy ass eyeball thing. three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Hmm. I see. Good to know. Hello, Paige. Long time indeed. How you been? What you, what you been doing? What you been up to? Um, hello, giant floating jellyfish things. How are you doing? How nice of them. They are providing me an island to stand on. Or engulfing me. I'm not entirely sure which. I am standing on a spinning jellyfish. Slowly sinking into the water. Hello. Ah, ow. <laughs> I didn't realize that they could damage me. Never actually ran into them before. They are bottom feeders, as in they feed from their bottoms, and I just ran into it. I'll put away some of you. 
Put away one of you. Put away that. Put away those things and that thing. Put away those things. Grab those. I think those jellyfish have damaged my truck. How dare they? Anywho, we're gonna go back to the base thingy. And I'm gonna park for a moment. <laughs> Just a little weaponized Lucian's genic tentacles. Nothing to worry about. Exactly. Actually, for damaging my truck. You get to die. And you get to come with me. Bringing one home with me. very slowly beating up my truck, but this is fine. This is acceptable. There. Now you're just gonna stink to your doom, aren't you? That's fine, I have relocated you to your new home. Have fun in the depths. All right, let's get out and repair this thing. Everything's good. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So I would like to make some things. Um, my sea truck currently has ion power cells, which is great. I would like more ion power cells uh, so that I can power the prawn suit with them. Uh, I didn't remember to bring any of my crap with me.
Yes, ion power tinglies. Okay, let's make some stuff. First off, you guys get charging. Um, batteries, ion, ion power cells require the ion batteries. Right. Okay. Right. Gold, silver, gold. Silver. I forgot you can't convert regular power cells into ion varieties. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, so now I need silicon rubber and wiring kit. Probably should make a couple more of those, shouldn't I? Alright, let's do that. Uh, did I ever find a scrapper? Well, what do you mean by scrapper? Are you talking about the recyclotron? I did. And are you hinting that I could potentially disassemble all of my batteries for the materials and then do that? I, I think I understand what you're hinting at. I think I think that's actually a fine idea. Let's do that. Oh, can I only do one at a time? Fine. So many batteries. Hello, Chaos. Also, thank you for the host, Chaos. Alright, so I got my silicon rubber back. And what else did I need for that? It was silicon rubber and wiring kit. Okay. So let's not put away any of the batteries, apparently. Um Sure, you guys can go away. I don't need those anymore at all, do I? They can just go into the drink. Wearing kit. Wearing kit. Power cell. Power cell. So all of that silver that I passed up in the Arctic area is now becoming necessary for all of my all of my uh, ion power cell creation. But it's fine. It's fine. Alright, um, I'm not gonna finish grabbing the batteries at the moment, just because I don't wanna. Um, so the rest of the batteries can just dump in here for the moment. You can get a fresh battery.
I suppose there is trash, isn't there? I could do that. Because I don't need any of this laying around. Because I have them growing right above my head, so if I needed more, I can. Uh, I'm going to go put my new acquisitions into my aquariums here. I have my I have my jellyfish now. Lovely. And then I also have this guy. Whatever that is. It's got an eyeball and it's adorable. Silicone. Yeah, let's let's deal with some of the scrap because I have I have lots of spare batteries, and I think they just need to get dealt with. Sure, you can go in here. Probably could make some more um, ion battery things. So funny you mention lead. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure you were around for this, but I did fix my lead situation. Uh, I need to go back in here and grab something anyway. Oh, he's so dark. Oh, I need to re I need to turn it back on again. I found the solution to my lead problem, and that was the scanner room chip. Uh, actually, let me grab those. Swap those out in the prawn suit. Just out of range of lead. I thought you said you had built your ship or your station right around here. So unless you put your scanner like elsewhere, I ended up with hundreds of lead pockets to look for. To the point where it was actually really hard to find them because there were so damn many icons. We don't power wise. We don't good. Okay, so let's uh grab that, grab these. Let's grab some more crap. So many friggin' batteries. Good lord. I 
I don't even have enough room in my garbage bag. <laughs> okay. I gotta wait for the garbage to take itself out. Hang on. Oh, gotcha. So you were quite a ways away. Okay. So, now I have a glut of copper. Because of all of the batteries that I made. Um, I do need more silver. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In fact, I don't have enough gold or silver left uh, to make even a single pair of power cells. Good to know. You can just go in there. It'll be fine. Great. So, I need to go get more silver. Um, but that's fine. We won't do that at the moment. I will... What do I want to do? Do I want to... I don't know. Do I want to go get more materials and get more stuff? Or do I want to attempt to beeline the end tonight? Because at that point, then I probably won't play this again. So do we squeeze out another night out of this? Or do we just try to finish it tonight? Demos votes end. I mean, I do need to finish games. Like, legit. I need to finish games. So. I have my menagerie. I never did do anything with my upstairs growing area. All right, we will we will attempt to end it. Hmm. Turns out you can't easily jump and grab that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's reshuffle this a little bit. Let's grab... Let's grab the Fabricator module. Take off the Aquarium module. Don't need the Sleeper module, just grab the Docking module. I didn't, I didn't aim that right, did I? I did not aim that right. That's okay. That's fine. There. A little bit, little bit of a slimline truck. Just base storage and crafting. Like real, real base storage and crafting. And then, um, that. So I just need to get in here. Wait, I can't get in here, can I? I can get in here. Great. I don't want to grab... I want to grab that, that, and that. Now this can go to my base storage. And we'll grab the food and water. That can go to base storage. Sixty to ninety minutes left. That's about right. That's about what I've got left in me for tonight. Alright, so you and you and you 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 I'll keep the rebreather on me because apparently I have to. There, okay. Alright, we are good to go. We're gonna go to the purple crystal cavern. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> I 
Ah. Well, thank you, for, thank you for all your help, Cetra. Have yourself a good night. Have fun at work. Just realized I haven't saved in a little bit. the thingy I was looking for. The gigantic purple blister. Let's watch it pop. Because it's pretty. And then we're going this way. Alright. So. Purple crystal caves. It's really easy to get to when you know where you're going. Which I frequently do not, but that's okay. Okay, so I have a thousand meter limit on this thing now. Previously it was 650, so I was stuck not being able to explore a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and save and see how far I can get. Oh, hello buddy. I'm gonna let you be. Alright, so, now I'm down here and I don't know exactly what I'm looking for or where I'm going, but I think we should be able to explore a little bit. Fuck off. Might grab some kyanite while I'm down here. Although I don't know if I need any kyanite. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I will grab it because I am here. And because I'm a pack rat. But otherwise I don't know if I need it. looks fancy. And they're not scannable. Okay. Well, that's fine. What are you? Rock puncher. Okay. I don't need any more of those.
doesn't look like there's anything too terribly fancy down here. We got kyanite crystals, copper crystal, or copper, gold, silver. Probably should grab some silver. But I don't have much in the way of storage space. That's fine. We won't do it. Don't need to. Okay, what am I looking for? Also, I don't think I, um, I don't think I left myself a way to find out. Like, wherever direction out is, I think this might be it. But I'm not entirely sure. I think I think this might actually be the out. Nope, this is absolutely not out. Okay, well, I guess I'm still exploring. I'm looking for any sort of telltale signs of green glow, and these things are messing with me because they're kind of sort of greenish. So every once in a while I'll look at those and think that they might be something I should aim towards. But, this place is pretty. It's pretty, and there's a lot of kyanite and other materials, but I'm not seeing anything alien. Uh, specific aliens. Not all of the alien shit that's literally around me all over the place. I'm not, not finding the specific aliens I'm looking for. You're doing it. Fuck off. red crystals. That's different. Can I scan the red crystals? I cannot scan the red crystals. Okay. I believe Cetra did mention red crystals were where I needed to be. Pretty. Pretty as fuck. Don't look at these things. They look hazardous. Eclipse plant. This distinctive vibrant plant is often found growing out of the green crystal outcropping that appears to be similar to jade. Hmm. I think you mean red. The red crystal outcropping. 
Ah, Valuna. <laughs> Hi, Valuna. Thank you for the bits. You have come in time to watch me dive deep into the creepy red crystal cave of creepiness. This this is the this is the kind of like true alien landscape that I live for. I love this shit. Like just navigating my way through these giant red crystal pillar caves. I love it. It's amazing. And running into every fish that I see. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Uh, no, thank you. 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 Could could you not? Could you not? Just just walk away. I'll go this way. You go that way. Fine. I'll go this way. You go that way. Nope. Fuck off. I need to find the place that I'm supposed to go. And he's interfering. Really? Another one? Fine. 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 Be that way. Question is, am I even going the right way, or did I get myself turned around and lost? Because as awesome as the red crystals are, they do all look a little bit the same. I'm going up, and I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be going up. And I'm pretty sure I'm going back the way I came from. Okay, well, let's turn around and go back this way. Actually, before I go too far... Now might be a great time to get out and do a little bit of repair, touch up work, just because I don't want to get caught with my pants down. Okay, so back down to the creepy, scary, creepy place with him. With him. Stop it. I have my I have my zappy button ready to go for you again. Just just come at me. We can do this. Trivalve egg discovered. So that's what that thing was. Aha! I found the alien thing. Now we're going in. Ow, my this shins. This is the fabrication facility where we will construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? I am trying to encourage you. Alright, so... I found the end bits. 
but I can't use the end bits yet because I don't have all of the bits bits that I need. I need more bits bits before I can use the end bits. Balls. Fine. So where's where's the last bit then? Alright, fuck it, looking it up. I am looking it up because I don't want to wander endlessly for the foreseeable future. So Frozen Leviathan, other outposts. Allen's bits and bobs. Yes. Allen's bits and bobs. What the hell is that noise? I think that fish was being dumb and just running repeatedly into the ship. Um, fish, I'm gonna eat you for your, uh, for your idiocy. Come here. Ooh! Maybe not. Maybe you don't get eaten right now. Nope, you get eaten. You get eaten for running into my ship repeatedly. Come here, you too. Just for running into my ship, you get chomped. Hi. Okay, back to figuring out where the frack I'm going. Uh, bridge, bridge, canyon. So, Architect Tissue. Lilypad Islands gives me... Uh, where are you? Architect Skeleton. Still looking, so that's the tissue, that's the skeleton. Organs! Okay. Crystal Caves Cache. So it is in here somewhere. And apparently there's a narrow path that leads to it. That's not helpful. Okay, that's not helpful at all. So I need to go back, unfortunately. I need to go back to uh, the purple crystal caves as opposed to the red crystal caves. tried to do it. And I accidentally flashed him in the face and that didn't work. Okay, uh, so I need to go up. I need to go all the way back to the purple caves. And hope that I can find the thingy that it's talking about. Nope, don't get stuck on crystals. Don't get stuck on crystals, damn it. And here's hoping I can find the red crystal caves again. Because there was nothing really leading me here. I just kind of blindly wandered into it. Which is usually how I find a lot of things and then can never find them again. Okay, 
Purple crystal caves. Purple crystal caves. Now, according to the thingy, I'm looking for the evil shadow leviathans, which are supposedly circling around an entrance that I need. So I don't know exactly where to find them, but I'm going to head back to maybe this general direction. Good night, Smooth Agent. Thanks for hanging out. I hear you. So does that mean that the thingy I need is around here somewhere? Finding the thing I am supposed to find. Nor do I know exactly where the thing I'm supposed to find is, otherwise I probably would have found it by now. Nope. Don't. 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 I think I'm in the right general area, but I don't know where it is exactly. So the descriptor. Let's see if let's see if we can figure that out. The descriptor says Crystal Caves. Once inside you can encounter the Shadow Leviathan, which are the lovely friends who keep trying to give me a hug. Try to find an opening where the Leviathans circle the opposite sides of the cave to avoid getting attacked. The Levi Leviathans will circle around two crystal formations that lead down to the crystal cache. And it says there are two entrances, the northern and the southern. And it says specifically Crystal Castle is what it's referring to. Obviously, that doesn't help because none of this shit is actually named. But, let's see if I can find it. So you're circling around a thing.
I see nothing obvious. And I don't, I don't see anything that would stand out as a crystal castle versus any of the other crystal formations I've been seeing. Because they're all pretty and mar marvelous and miraculous and fantastical. But nothing's really screaming crystal castle to me. Ow. Seek fluid and take. Right. I should actually take care of that, shouldn't I? You fish. I need your juicy insides. Alright, so what the fuck am I looking for? I know I'm looking for quote unquote crystal castle. But I don't think that helps me. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's time to get out on, into the prawn suit and walk? See if walking helps change my perspective a little bit. Okay, let's get some water going. Okay, so that way is five, whatever. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't need Delta Station Dock. I don't need the Tangles. I don't need Phi. I don't need Sea Monkeys. What I probably should have done, and it's a little late for that now, is I probably should have put a um, a beacon next to the red crystal cave entrance. But again, too late for that, and I don't think I have the materials to do that anyway. So... Your purple prism entrance... I don't know if I know how to get back to the purple prism entrance because it's kind of a twisty, thorny cave that I've managed to find. I mean, this to me looks fantastical. Like, just big ass purple crystal formations in the sky. But I don't see anything. I don't 
don't think I see anything either over here. Nope, you're just pretty purple crystals. More pretty purple crystals. I like pretty purple crystals, but... Ah! No, don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck off, sir. Stop it. Alright, I guess I'm going up here. Could, could you get off of me? found out. I found out slash in slash wherever we started. Uh, so that's good. I don't think that gives me a good reference point though, because the, di the directions don't really clarify that at all. So how about we pause and take another look at that. Architect Organ. Let's see if I can find a better description of where it's located. Literally anything better than the current description would be helpful. Alright, well, that's also not terribly helpful. But it gives me something to look for. So hopefully that image will help somewhat. Um, it doesn't, but hopefully I can find something. Let's go this way. I don't think I've gone this way. If there is a this way. There does not appear to be a this way. Okay. expecting to see you here. This is the same type of material that was at um, Marguerite's place. Definitely the same type of material that's at Marguerite's place. Interesting. 
Alright, that's fine. I don't need that. I need purple crystals. I'm not seeing anything too terribly useful. This is probably the closest that I can find that resembles that picture. And it's not it's not perfect. It's definitely there's there's significantly less crystallage here. definitely kind of goes back to the idea of how the hell would someone ever find this stuff on their own. Nope, endlessly lost. This is me. 
This is my life now. I'm just stuck down here forever. Lost, confused. Um... Maybe now would be a good time to get out and get some materials and do some repairs. So let's do the repair thingy first. Almost all of those repairs are from me running into little fish. Not the big guys, the little fish. Okay, uh, I also forgot to look to see what materials I need. Because I think I need a beacon or three. Just, just because I'm easily lost. Uh, deployables. Begin. Copper and titanium. Okay, copper I have right around here. Titanium, not so much. Your silver. Your gold. I thought I had copper around here. I do not have copper around here. Well then. Uh, I don't. I don't need this then. Let's wander around here and see if this helps at all. This might be related to the area I was supposed to find, but I'm not positive. Literally can't even go down there. Well, alright then. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, are you still gold? You are still gold, okay. Alright, so if that was related to the thing I needed to find, I didn't see it. So I'm still looking for Crystal Castle, and there's supposed the to be... Thanks, Alan. Would have been absolutely delightful if you had given me that information a little while ago, but I found the thingy. This is the Crystal Castle. This is the crystal castle. Where there's just a big old giant there hole. There's definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yeah, let's do that. Are you... Angry fish. It's an angry fish. Hey, little guy. I know you guys live down here. Angry fish. He just tried to blow me up. I found the thingy. It took way too long, but I found the thingy. to blow up my prawn. Okay. I found the thingy.
Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. And here are the skitterers. Architect component. Oh. Well. Alright then. It's just. It's just organs. In a box. Alright. Organs in a box. Architect constituent parts. The architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus, while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible com computational power, the architect brain. Uh, no, respir uh, no respiration or digestive system appear to be present, suggesting life that is fed entirely by sustained electrical energy, and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the, instance, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. Indeed. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. <laughs> you have scanned all the components we need to make a storage... Uh, ...body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Hooray! Cautious optimism! Hello, little spider guy. I, li I like you, little spider guy. You're adorable. So, cautious optimism. Let's take a look at what we need. So, we need two root pustules, synthetic fibers, two gel sacs, polyaniline, diamond, plastic ingots, ion cube, ribbon plant, Three kyanite. So I need one more kyanite, which is good that I checked. I think I should be able to find some right outside the door. Um, polyaniline should be doable. Ribbon plant, no problem. Gel sac, no problem. Kyanite. That. Right there. I don't think I need any more, actually. Uh, I'm gonna grab a diamond, because why not? Oh, incoming communication by none. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great, what's next? Let's get you out of my head. Do you remember the fabrication facility? You must return there. Right, the fabrication facility. So you always planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. All of my people were not invited. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Return to the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Hmm. He's not eager to expose his secrets. Okay, so I need to actually get the materials and then bring them to the fabrication facility. Which means... Uh, ooh, almost ran into that. Uh, which means I need to GTFO back home 
to get most of the stuff that I need. What I would love to do, and I don't think I have the materials to do it here, is I would have loved to be able to make a uh, a beacon to find the purple crystal, or the, the red crystal spot. But I don't think I have the materials for that, nor do I know where the red crystals are located. So, I'm going to leave, and then hope that I can find my way back here eventually. Uh, which way is out? I don't think I have an answer to that question. Are you copper? Hold on, are you copper? It's freaking copper. Well, I needed that, so let's get copper. So I don't need much copper. Um, because I just want to make a beacon. That's all I want. Uh, I also have the ion cube. Beacon. Titanium was the other thing I needed. And I don't have titanium at the moment. I could probably find titanium. Hmm. Oh, we also have ribbon plants down here. Okay. That was copper. I need titanium. There's got to be titanium around here somewhere. I know I could just find the the various rocks on the ground to break, and there eventually will be titanium in one of those. Okay, you're attached. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store what I need in here. So I've got kyanite and ribbon plant and the energy cube. I don't know if I know what song you're referring to, Paige. Also, I don't know if I know how to get back out of here now that I've found this place. This took me forever and ever to find. How am I supposed to find my way back out again? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, uh, let me check quick. Polyaniline. Polyaniline requires gold and hydrochloric acid, which requires th those things. Okay, so I do have to go back home for that. Uh, synthetic fibers requires ruby and the spiral plant clipping. I never found that. I never found the spiral plant clipping. Because I already found... The only um, synthetic fibers that I've needed, I found through... Um, it was pre-crafted at like a base location, so I've never actually needed that. Well, shit. <laughs> the song is just called Titanium. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers. If I knew what needed... Oh. Damn. Sea truck depth module needed the synthetic fibers. If it wasn't that, I would have definitely disassembled it to get that back. But I need to find the spiral plant clippings. That's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Don't know how to solve that problem just yet. Ruby, I do need you. Did 
Um, there we go. Okay, I need to find my way out of here. Hey, I found the red! Um, shit, I need to find titanium. Look, titanium. Wonderful. Now that I found the red, I can drop a beacon as the red crystal entrance. That was good. That was good. Now I need to figure out how to GTFO. I don't know the answer to that one yet. We're just going to wing it. We're going to go this way. Because this is the opposite direction of the Red Crystal Caves. I must have just circled right around that when I found the Red Crystal then. Because I had found the Red Crystal first before I found this gigantic pile of purple. No, stop it. So I must have just completely skirted around that and didn't even notice it was there. Huh. Oh well. It happens. Probably not the best place to go through. I see another friend off in the distance. Hello, buddy. How are you? This isn't really the exit that I wanted, but it's it's an exit and it will do. Now, where the hell are those spiral plant doodads? I need the spiral plant doodads. I don't recall seeing them anywhere. Is this Margaret's place? Really? Really? Fascinating. I didn't realize that there was a, uh, a spot straight from Margaret's place into the purple crystal caves. Good to know. Okay, so the spiral plant is, I think, the only thing that I would be missing. I think. Because I'm pretty sure I can do all of the above. Except for the spiral plant. So I might need to look that up to figure out where that's located. But otherwise, let's go home and gather everything else. I 
think I'm being chased. It's fine. Oh, hey, it's the juvenile Leviathan. Hi, little guy. How you doing? You have you having a good float? Good job. You you can do it. That's a that's an island. Okay, we're not going we're not going through the island. Oh, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Because I don't have my lights on. <laughs> I was so used to flying around in the uh, crystal caves that are fairly bright. Totally forgot I had lights on this thing. Okay, so we are at base again. Let's do some emptying. do. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's eat the food. Sure, why not? All right, so I need three of you. Need two of you. Hydrochloric acid. And then polyaniline. Okay. Two of you guys. Two more diamonds. Plasteel ingot is titanium and lithium, I think it was. Yes. Okay, and then for the synthetic fibers, I need a ruby and spiral plant clipping. That is literally the last thing that I need for this entire project. So let's go do a search and see if I can figure out where that's located. Uh, so you can come out. Polyaniline, diamond, 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 plasteel, root, root, gel, gel. So, 
inside of here is everything needed to make all of the alien except for the synthetic fibers. Uh, sure, more of these in here. Why not? Sure. Sure, why not? Okay. So, I'm going to have to look that one up because I don't know. Nope. Uh, synthetic fibers. Spiral plant. Found inside vent gardens. Oh. That's why I never found it, because I went in the vent garden, but I never thought to knife the inside of it. Alright, well, let's go find a vent garden. I know we saw the, the juvenile floating around. Pretty sure there's a vent garden straight south. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even think about that. I know I scanned the spiral plant. And in fact, let's see if this would have been the right answer. Uh, logs, alien data, geological data, flora, exploitable. Nope, not exploitable. C then. Spiral plant. Symbiosis with event garden. Yes. So, if I had looked into my data thingy, I would have gotten that information. I'll call it a win. Now I just need to actually find the vent gardens. I vaguely remember them being fairly straight south-ish. Ooh, ha. Ah, almost ran into that. Because we are in relative vent territory with all these vents around. You are not a vent garden. Alright. You are jellyfish. You are also not a vent garden. Where's the vent garden? Should be fairly easy since it's so damn big, but... But apparently not. Hi, big friend. You are a big friend. Vent garden. There we are. 
I knew it was around this general area somewhere. Alright. Stop it. I knew he was coming after me. I just need you to go elsewhere, please. You giant shrimp. Okay, is he is he properly fucked off now? I think he is. Okay. Nope. Fuck off. You too. Thank you. All right, vent garden. Warning: passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. We're going up, going up and in. No, you can't have my anything. No, you cannot. No, stop it. <laughs> he's, he's wiggling. He's trying to get me. So this tiny little bugger. Spiral plant clipping. I'll grab a few. I don't need I don't need a few, I don't think, but I'm gonna grab them just in case. Where's my ship? There's my ship. Okay, so synthetic fibers. I have all of the thingies. All of the thingies required for the stuff. How about we not hang around the scary territory for a while? Guys, could you... Oh, could you not? Please? Please don't? Oop, oh, not that bad. So I need to go up and over this mountain, back to the purple caves. Hope I can find the red caves. And that should be about it. I don't know if there's any follow-up, like building a rocket to leave or anything like that. But it should be just about done. You come say hi? You are saying hi. Hello. You can also say hello. Just checking. I've already been to that pile of stuff. Okay, we are at the Purple Crystal Caves. Let me, before I go down too far, let me, let me do a pause. Get out. Grab all the stuff in my pocket and make sure I've got everything I need. Everything in the upper corner is green. So yes, I have everything I need. And down we go. Wait for it to pop. Pretty.
Okay. And then get out briefly. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Do a little Oxygen bit of repair. Efficiency greatly decreased. Great. All better. Uh, yep, okay, we're good. Let's have a little bit of a drink. Oh, I don't have much water left. All right, we're gonna have to, hopefully not have to worry about that, but just in case, keep it in the back of my mind. Do a little bit of a savey save. Now, the purple crystal cave marker is 100, or the red crystal cave marker is 100% behind me. So, I need to go down this way and then figure out a way to loop back around. Hello, hello. Oh, um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I, I prematurely electrified him, and that almost caused me my doom. But we're fine. Everything, everything seems good. Seems to be a straight shot. Nothing else trying to murder me. A little, a little bit of a, uh, little bit of rock formations to dodge, but that's fine. And we've got red crystals. All right. So now, I just gotta make sure that I can actually go down and hopefully I find the right spot. It was relatively simple when I found it. friend to deal with. <laughs> He's like, no, -uh. don't wanna. You gonna come? You gonna come play? Or are you just gonna scream at me? He's just gonna scream at me. Alright, that's fine. Okay, here we are. You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. <laughs> just yes. Alright. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. <laughs> he doesn't want to be in this dirty human brain anymore. I don't blame him. It's kind of weird in here. Alright, light me up. You're not going to light me up? The process requires you to build each component before you can assemble the whole. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the Shadow Reaper's like, no, I'm just going to take this while you're gone. Yoink. Alright, so how do I do that? 
Oh. Well then. Let's do that. Button. Button. So Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. <laughs> so how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Well, fine. Be that way. I'm building an alien. Shadow Reaper just wants a hug. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Fine. He's not gonna like come out and eat me, is he? This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Mm. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. So... Explanation, perhaps? Would be handy? I love this stuff. It's all pretty. It wouldn't let me scan any of this before. Still not letting me scan any of it now. Nope. All right, let's uh, let's take some more screenshots because it's pretty. Commence storage medium fabrication, and that's true. If he wanted to kill me, he could have just taken over my brain. Probably. He kind of made it sound like he didn't really have a choice in the matter. But you know, whatever. Okay. Push the button. Commencing storage medium fabrication. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. I don't blame you. Alien. Sploosh! Hello, Alien. How are you? What are you doing? Scanning Research. You. Tit for tat. <laughs> Probe my mind. I scan your body. That's fair. 100%. Architect body. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid, incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. Skin. The outer layer of tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy powered by the alien's internal biotech uh, biotechnological heart. Robotic arms. Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around its body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain in, uh, independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks in, uh, independently. Limbs. The organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a, a biocomposite plating. A plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. Mobility. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. Teleportation. 
the architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that the architect body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. Chromium bore of Keltwall prime, an invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Putty serpent of Apo Aposticar. This snake has extremely tensile skin, prevents it from tearing and allows it to compress itself into small spaces. Electrode eel of Lithton uh, generates an electrically charged slime across its length. Astral rays, moons of Marden 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. Shaggy goats of Olympion. These herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothills of the mountain planet Olympion and are excellent climbers. Giant geckos of Holtz asteroid. Massive geckos that emit an electrostatic charge on its foot pads. This creates a charge difference in the surface and the gecko uh, is climbing. Makers of at least a dozen other, or markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present but unrecognizable at this time. Nifty. Nifty. Hello, alien. How are you? You are large. You are large and goat-like. I like it. Alright. We're initiating transfer. Commencing data transfer. Ah, my brain. Did it work? Are we... Hello. It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Oh. Hello. Whoa. We. Oui. Hey. Hi. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. Zoom! <laughs> we noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. The gate. Hello, Alan. Nice to see you in the flesh and other. You are nifty. I love the idea of these architects designing their own bodies. And then on top of that, using telekinetically controlled robotic arms as their their primary digits. This is fucking nifty is what this is. This is really fucking nifty. Hi Alan. Please. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now I have much to prepare. I see. So fucking nifty. We're gonna go back to the teleportation gate base thing. What what is this gate base we're talking about? 
Architect phase gate facility. All right, that's sure. Hopefully I know how to get there. All right, Leviathan, I am ready to tango. I am ready to tango with you. Hi, buddy. Damn, bad kitty. No scratch. No bite. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop knocking shit off the walls. I don't like it. So Red Crystal Caves, Phase Gate Facility. I don't, I don't know where that is offhand. I'm assuming it's up and out, but I guess I don't really know. That is amazing. That, that giant purple crystal palace thing. It was literally right next door to where I was coming out of the crystal caves the whole time. Didn't even, didn't even notice. All right, uh, which way is, which way is the out of here? That's red. I think it's this way. Maybe. Might be this way. exactly how to get out of here. This might take a moment. Going 100% back the way I came. Um. Crystal cave exit, please. Can I get out of here, please? Any old exit will do. I don't care which one. <laughs> I 
There, there might be a second stream at the rate I am able to navigate and find my way out of places, yes. Secure and take. Ah, lady, lady, leave me alone. I think I found it. At least I found N up. I don't think it's the up, but I found N up. That's all I need is N up. I found it. I found the right up. <laughs> yes. Nup. I found Nup. Okay, so then the question is where is this phase gate facility? Is this a thing that I will easily be able to locate? Or am I going to be very, very sad at attempting to find it? We're going north northwest. This could be referring to Phi. Promising. All right. Oh, I probably should grab water. I don't have much, but some. Okay. So, do a savey save. See if I can figure out how to get to there from where I'm at. Are we at... We're at... We're at zero. Oh, okay. Well then, fine. Be that way. I guess zero would have been the last place I needed to go, technically. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I did find this place before. Yep, I did. I found this place earlier, and I was talking about how the gates are not as widely used in this in this game versus the first one. Because, yeah, that. All right, Alan. I am here. What you got for me, buddy? Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. He just zips around, doesn't he? Oh, that's fun.
Okay, fine. Alan, hug. Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. <laughs> Zoop. Well then. Well then. Let's do a final save. Just in case I want to come back and fiddle around in this place. But we are ready. I didn't realize this was going to end with us teleporting to the friggin' alien homeworld. That's kind of nifty. So, the uh, in we go. Ooh. Ooh. Alan, looking all majestic up here. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time? Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the homeworld safe. In hopes that the others survived. It's yeah. majestic. prepare the ship. The energy masks must be moved into place. Uh, yes? Well, oh. this is different. I get robo-arms. Thanks, Ellen. Ooh, zoop. I get robo-arms. Yes. Ellen, you're delightful. I, I, I appreciate your existence, sir. Right? Like, I want to see more of the architect stuff. Like, this this is fascinating. We've only ever really seen them in ruins. I want to see more. Alan. Al, Alan. Al, Alan. Alan. Alright, what am I, uh, what am I doing? What buttons am I pushing? I'm assuming you need to get back into place. <laughs> yes. Rely on the alien who doesn't know what she's doing to play with the giant pillars of doom with the brand new robot arms. Brilliant choice, Alan. Brilliant decision. Nope, don't do it. Alan, you shouldn't have trusted the human. We don't know what we're doing here. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Alan, this is some fancy, fancy tech you got here. I love it. Oh, I have to return the arms, but... But I want them. They're mine now. Fine. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. Zoop. <laughs> Alan, I don't have fancy teleportation hooves like you do. Wow. 
Alan up there being all fancy, leaving me behind like this. He got himself a spaceship. Join me, Robin. Hang on, I'll join you in a sec. I got a screenshot to take. Hang on, Al Alan, don't go anywhere. I gotta, I gotta take a screenshot. Damn it! There we go, Alan. <laughs> right? All that's left now is the human sacrifice. That's what I'm here for. Alright. We're going up into the mothership. Ow. That was not graceful. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. <laughs> he almost liquefied me. Your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Neat. Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah, we could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Don't I get a fancy ship tether thing? What am I bracing myself to? Oh! Bracing. Got it. Alright. I am in Alan. Alright, Alan. Take me to your leader. Launching in three, two, one. It's only fair. He was in me and now I'm in him. Now this is wormhole travel. I like it. Ooh. Neato. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls daily. Only 10,000? Tiny people. Ooh. I like it. I am excited. And if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. Aw, Alan. That was nifty. That was very nifty. I like it. There, obviously, I had issues with the the blind exploration method of progression, but that's that's just me. I know other people had issues with it too, but other people are all on board with the blind wandering and exploring. I did enjoy that game greatly. I would say a vastly different experience in the same flavor as the first game. And that end sequence. Being the tiny alien human person being brought to the giant technologically advanced alien world. Hell yes. I wonder if they're going to go forward with that or if this is it. I haven't heard anything other way um, to know whether they're going to do more in the, in the genre or if they're just stopping it. Um, they, they left themselves wide open with a lot of potential. There's the flight of the Degasi. There's the flight of the... Is it the Mercury? The Mercury 2? So two different ships there that we could potentially experience. There's the entirety of the alien planet that we just talked about. Um, there's literally any of the aliens that they mentioned um, that make up the alien uh, body parts, the, the 20 or so DNA sources that they said 
they mentioned five or six of them, something like that. So any of those could be explored. Um, they've obviously got the chops to make up random alien worlds. We could explore Earth with Altera or other Altera expeditions. There's so much to work with in, in this in this universe. So I'm hoping they do more. I hope. I hope. But yes. I really enjoyed it. Now I want to know if there's going to be any more after credit stuff. Hmm. I don't know if I want to know enough to stay up for another half an hour while the credits finish. So I think I'll end it here and probably record the rest for myself later. Because that's probably easier. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll just record it. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. All right. So, Subnautica is over. I really enjoyed it. Subnautica Below Zero is over. I really enjoyed it. Um, may eventually revisit this one or the first game at some point or another just to re-experience the joy. Who knows? An atmosphere-only planet. Ooh. Ooh, um, that actually reminds me of Bobiverse, the audiobook series that I've been listening to and I've listened to repeatedly. Hey, we're done. There's no post credit scene. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so in Bobiverse, I'm not going to go into the whole details because I mentioned it before, but one of the things that they explore is a gas giant that has stratified layers of different, um, different depths, basically, like the ocean, and at each different layer is different types of, of wildlife. Some of them are like flying manta ray kind of deals, um, giant zeppelin-like whale things. But yeah, a gas giant, like it's one of those, it's one of those things that doesn't get explored very often is the potential life on a gas giant. I think the closest that we get is something like the Cloud City of Bespin or something like that in Star Wars. And even that doesn't really go into like the wildlife. So I think Subnautica could cover that. Obviously the name would have to be changed because there wouldn't be any subs or nauticas. Um, but, but still, I think they should explore that. Or at least someone should explore that. But yeah, that'll be it for Subnautica Below Zero. Happy to be done. Also kind of sad to be done, as usual. But that's okay. Paige, thanks for hanging out for the end of this one for me. Anyone else still lurking out there? Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.